very good morning to all handball fans watching us live and very welcome to the HF office in Vienna. After the winter break, we are ready to continue with the men's European club competitions and uh, especially the Challenge Cup today. We, con uh, we finished with the uh, last 16 last weekend and we are ready for the next step and we will determine today the matches of quarterfinals as well as the pairings of the semifinals. 48 clubs started this competition at the beginning of the season and as you can see here in the pot in front of me there are only eight remaining teams and they're all in a single situation uh, for today. I think we have a very interesting lineup of the teams. If we go through them, we have a team from Belgium, Handball Wiese. We have Borats, Banja Luka from Bosnia-Herzegovina. We have Dicken from Finland, AEK Athens. We have Madeira, Portugal, Cesame, Bucharesti, Dinamo Victor from Stavropol in Russia, and St. Petersburg uh, from Russia as well. <coughs> As you can see from the lineup of the teams, there are two teams from Russia, which are still here. Uh, according to the regulations, uh, it's possible that they have to go against each other. All the teams um, are together and it will be decided later on um, who will face each other. Before we start, just to remind you that we will have the first matches, the first leg on 23 and 24 of March. The second leg matches are on the weekend of 30 and 31. And as I mentioned before, we will also do the pairings for the semi-finals in a second step for today. So I think regarding introduction, I guess we are all ready. We all know what we need to know. And uh, therefore, we will go into the taking of the lot. The first team for today with a home right on the first leg is Dinamo Viktor from Stavropol in Russia. And the opponent of Stavropol is the team of AEK Athens from Greece. <coughs> Madeira and the ball from the island of Madeira in Portugal. They will play the first game at home in their quarterfinal. And they will have to play versus the team of Dicken from Finland. Handball Club Vise from Belgium. They will host the first leg. And they will meet the team of Neva St. Petersburg from Russia. The 
home right in the first leg in the last quarterfinal goes to Ceseme from Bucharesti in Romania. And the very last team of the quarterfinals, the remaining spot goes to the team of Rukometni Club Borac from Banja Luka in Bosnia-Herzegovina. So this concludes the matches of quarterfinals. If we just go through them once again, Dinamo from Stavropol will meet AEK from Athens. Madeira will have to play versus Dikken from Finland. Vise from Belgium will meet Neva St. Petersburg from Russia. And the last quarterfinal, Cesame Bucharesti versus Borac Banja Luka in Bosnia Herzegovina. So these are the matches of the quarterfinals. As I mentioned before, it is a standard procedure for these competitions that we also draw the pairings of the semi-final today uh, so that we can go into the preparation of those matches right after the matches are determined uh, from the round before. So uh, in the pot, you have four balls with the four winners of the round that we just did now, and we will go on with it. Before we move to this part, um, let's just have a look on the top scorer. We concluded up until the last 16 matches. We have a player from Madeira, Eli Semedo. He is on rank number three. He scored 30 goals so far. On place number two, we have Valdas Trabavaitios from Sviesa Vilnius with 33 goals. And currently, the top position in the top scorers list of uh, goes to Siarhe Michalchuk from Masheka in Belarus with 35 goals. Of course, um, unfortunately, the teams of Masheka and Sviesa Vilnius are not here anymore. So maybe the best position right now to win uh, this situation goes to Eli Semedo from Madeira, as he will still have the chance to score more goals. All right, so far, so good. I think we are ready to go to the semifinals. As I mentioned before, we have, we have the four winners in the white balls, and we will now determine the winners of which matches will, will go against each other in the semifinals. <coughs> So the home right in the first semi-final goes to the winner of match number three, which we just drew now. These were the teams of Vise from Belgium and Neva St. Petersburg. So the winner of this match will have the home right in the first semi-final. And the winner of Vise versus St. Petersburg will meet the winner of quarterfinal match number four, which is Ceseme Bucharesti versus Borat Banja Luka. And the winner of Ceseme and uh, Borat will have the home right in the second leg of the semifinal. The winner of the quarterfinal match number two, which was uh, Madeira on the ball versus Dickon from Finland, the winner of this matchup will have the home right in the first leg of the semifinal. And consequently, they will meet the winner of quarterfinal match number one, which is Dinamo from Stavropol versus AEK from Athens. So these are the two semifinals. They will take place in April, but all the teams already know how it is going to continue later on.
<coughs> this concludes this draw event for today. Just some additional information. Maybe you have uh, already noticed that we have launched dedicated social media channels for the European Cup competitions last week. So um, use this and follow everything. There is a lot of good information, a lot of interesting information, always updated. And um, I think we will see interesting matches um, in March. And with this, we would like to conclude uh, this part for today. Thank you very much for being with us. I wish you all the best for the week. And thank you very much and goodbye.